Hi, I'm Michael. I'm Nash. And we are back with another maths game for you guys. Uh, the game we've got today is a variation on something that we've already shared. So this is called Which One Doesn't Belong? The Game. So to play it, you need a deck of regular playing cards. Now these are school friendly cards. Uh, we've got from zero to nine in this deck. Now, if you don't have school friendly cards, you can still just use a regular deck. I would just use queens as your zeros, aces as your ones, and then take out tens, kings and jacks. So we've got from zero to nine. We've got a normal six sided dice, piece of paper for each of us, Nash, and a game board. Now the game board looks kind of fancy, but there's nothing much really to it. It's just divided up into one, two, three, four, so four sections. And down here, we've just put this here to remind us. Okay, so if you, and we'll explain in a second what happens if you roll a five and if you roll a six. Now to get the game started, we just need to deal two cards into each of the boxes to make a two digit number. So we've got 49, 91, we have a 32 and we have a 65. And then, Whoever's turn it is, Nash, would you like to start? No, you can. Okay. So, you start. Right. So, that player is going to roll the dice. Whatever number they get, they have to tell us why this number does not belong. Because it's the only odd number. The only odd number? Oh, no, the only even. The only even number. Okay, now, hold on, Nash. Now, because he said it's the only even number, it is the only even number, he scores a point. Now, the way we indicate he scores a point is we take those cards out, we give him one card, so that's one point for him. The other card goes into the discard pile. And importantly, we replace those two cards with the next two cards from the top of the deck. So we've got 25. And Nash needs to record his reason down on a piece of paper. Now, because he's used even, he cannot use even again as a reason for the rest of the game. Okay, so my turn. So I roll a one. Okay, so I'm going to say that a 49 doesn't belong because it is the only number where the sum of the digits is 13. Happy with that, Nash? Yeah. Okay, so I take a card, put a card in the discard pile, and for my reason, I'm gonna write sum of digits. So I can't use sum of digits for any other one, whether that be sum of digits being 13 or eight, or it doesn't matter what, I can no longer use that. Okay, so now we replace these, we replace these two cards here. Nash, are you okay if I turn them around? Yeah. We replace these two cards here. Now, we have an eight and a zero, so we can make 80, or we can make eight with that. Um, oh, I might make eight. So then in that case, the zero just goes straight into the discard pile. All right? Now she's roll away. A one. Only uh, one with a one digit number. Beautiful, so just write one digit. You get that card. And do you want 13 or 31, Nash? 13. 13? Okay, beautiful. Now, we're going to keep playing, and we'll probably fast forward or edit out a lot of what happens, but it is worth saying, the longer the game goes, the trickier it gets, and the more wait time is used. So we're not going to show all that wait time, but it is important to note that when we played this this morning, sometimes there was a you know, two-minute break between turns, wasn't there, Nash? So there's lots of thinking that goes into the turns. Now, what we'll show on the video will just be us providing answers and reasons, but there is a lot of thinking that goes into the turn. All right, so it's my turn. I get a three. So I've got three. So now I'm going to go for only square number. 25? Yep. Okay. So. Only one if you add them up in equals... 16. Beautiful. So do sum of digits, yeah? 2, 91. So I'll say the only one larger than 90. So only... 5. Okay, great. So now 5. So now she rolled a 5. So that means it actually is my turn. But there is a bit of a twist to this. And I get to steal Nash's turn, 
but Nash gets to pick which one I have to say doesn't belong. 83. Now, can I ask Nashie, did you choose 83 because you thought that was the hardest? Yeah. Yeah, I like it. And I've already used, or oh, some of the digits wouldn't work. All right, I'm going to do the difference between the digits is five. Eight yeah. take away three. So card for me, and I'll just say difference of digits. And now it's my turn again, because I just had Nash's turn. So I get to have another turn. We'll make that 56. Can't have the same number there twice. All right, one, 13. I am going to say 13 is the only prime number. Yeah. Yeah? Um, only square number. Correct. Take it. Five. Okay, your turn. I'm going to ask you to do two. Only one with zero when it's digits. Okay, so write down. Actually, the only one to do add the digits after. So you want to do some of, you've already done some oh, yeah. of the digits. So, yeah. So that's important to note. So you can do that again. He's done some of the digits. So only one if you add zero. Only one with zero. So only one with a zero digit. So just write zero digit. Now that would mean he can't later on do, this is the only one with a seven digit in it, yeah? All right, so point for you. Okay, and this is your turn again, Nash. I'll make that 28. Four. Ooh, 65, only counting by five. Okay, so only counting, so right, counting by fives. Okay, so now, We've got a six. So a six means that it, it's my choice, right? So I can choose which one I want to say doesn't belong. And geez, there's none that really jump out to me as being, oh, I'm going to do 28 because it's a the only triangular number. Mm -hmm. So I'll just draw a triangle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it goes like 10, 15, then 21. Oh, yeah, the 20. Yeah, so, so in this scenario, I mean, Nash is kind of helping us out. He didn't really <laughs> stick at it too long. He's saying that he can't make the 72. So he's rolled a four. He can't think of a reason for the 72. So what happens in that case is I get a chance to steal his turn. So if I can come up with a reason, I'd score the point. If I can't come up with a reason either, we will replace those cards with new ones. Now, I can, Nash. A product of the digits is 14. What's that? Two times seven. Ah. So remember, because you haven't yeah. used that one yet, so product of digits. And as you can see while we're playing, it, the, the opponent's always getting to hear the language from, from the, the other player as well, so they're getting support in that respect. Now, now we're not going to record the whole game because you've got the flow of how it works. Um, we will keep playing. There's a couple of places you could stop. I mean, you, you could stop it once this original pile has been exhausted. You could stop there, count up the cards. You could then, I mean, the first time we played this morning, once these cards were gone, we shuffled up the discard pile and then we, we played again. We went all the way through until all the cards are exhausted. We're, if you're playing in the classroom, whenever it's time to pack up, you say stop, count up the cards, whoever's got the most would be the winner. Um, but obviously the focus is not on who wins, the focus is going to be on developing the vocabulary and stuff. So that is um, Which One Doesn't Belong, version 2.0. We hope you enjoy. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.